My guest today wrote an email asking for my help. Let's hear what she wrote. Dear Steve, my name is Amanda. I'm 20 years old and I have a two-year-old son with my fiance, Joseph. We've been together for five years and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Right after our son was born, I started hearing rumors that he was sleeping around town with up to about seven women. The first year of our son's life was hard on me. I was 17 years old, still in school, and practically raising our son by myself, while Joseph was out until about 3 a.m. every night. I would find pictures on his phone, messages online between him and other women, and I even caught him with a box of condoms in his hand. I don't know what else to do, Steve. I really do love him, but I feel like Joseph is no longer attracted to me and has been with other women. I called off for engagement because I couldn't trust him, and I want to make sure I didn't make a big mistake. Please help me get to the bottom of this so I know what's best for me and my son. I love your show, and I hope that you can help. Thanks, Amanda. All right, my guest is Joseph. That's your uh, fiancé on the tape. Yes, sir. Uh, with these uh, questions or concerns about your behavior. Um, she wants to find out the truth today. She believes that you are cheating on her, and I'll ask you, Joseph, are you cheating on her? No. Okay. I look at this tape and I see your little boy, and he's a gorgeous little boy, and it, I have a little boy, and he looks so much alike, and I'm like, wow, would you ever do anything to jeopardize that situation that you're in? Well, first off, thanks. But um, no, I wouldn't. I love my family with all my heart. I'd do anything in the world for them. Uh, I made mistakes. We, you know. You're young. Right. And when, when you made mistakes when you first got together, what? Um, well, we've been together five years. For the first two, three years, everything went great. Uh, she got pregnant. Um, once we had our son, I lost my job. Uh, I, start, I turned to, I started selling drugs because I had no other way to make money. Well, there's other ways of making money. I don't right. like, I mean, I understand what you're saying. And I only say that because people say, well, I had nothing, else, and I couldn't do anything else, so I started selling drugs. But we know, everybody knows, you might be able to feed your son, but you're destroying some other young life out on the streets or, you know. <laughs> so that became an issue, though. You started selling drugs, and tell me what happened. Well, um, about a year and a half ago, I got indicted. Um, she didn't know nothing about it. She thought I was going out doing odd jobs. Uh, she thought I was, you know, I told her I was going out, you know, doing yards, uh, housework, things like that. So you kept it from her? Yes. You got, eventually got arrested for it. I'm just curious, here's the mother of your child. Why didn't you confide in her and say, you know? Well, because I mean, she, she, you know, the, her background has nothing to do with that. Her family ain't like well, that. Well, I'm not talking about background, but let's say I went out drinking tonight and I got pulled over and I got arrested. Don't I have an obligation to go tell my wife, hey, honey, right. I screwed up, I got arrested. So I'm saying to you, this is the mother of your child. You, you know, you made a bad decision, but you did it in the sense of, I want to feed my family. A terrible decision, but you, you got caught. And don't you have an obligation to tell her the truth and say, honey, I tried to make some money. I got arrested. We need to make a plan because I might go to jail. Right. Well, when I did get indicted, that's when it came out. I told her what I was doing, and she wasn't happy at all. She told me right off the rip, she said, look, I'm not going to live that life. I'm not going to have that life. So, you know, and I told her that I'll stop, you know, and uh, she told me I need to do something about it. So I said I was going to go turn myself in. Um, I ended up going, staying at my buddy's house. I was just going to run from it for a minute. And she... Um, she ended up, uh, I was out there and I called her, I asked her to bring my son up to me. And she said no, she didn't want to be followed and see, be seen with me. And they think that she was trying to hide it and, you know, was helping me along with this. So I told her, meet me by the courthouse and I'll go turn myself in. Um, I gave her the money that I had so she can buy me out. She bonded me out and ever since then I stopped. I haven't done since. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. Your excuse is, I wasn't cheating on you. I was selling drugs. I feel bad about it. But that's what really was going on. Right. But your wife, you know, your fiance, I listened to her on the tape, and she says, you know, she catches you on online messaging other women, and she found you with a box of condoms. Right. 
What's the point of that? Uh, well, the You're not messaging... selling drugs and condoms, are you? Right, no. <laughs> uh, the, the messaging, the messaging uh, that I was one night just, you know. Fooling just, around online. Yeah, just, you know, harmless flirting. Um, she suspects you're cheating with seven different women. Right. Right. Is that harmless flirting or? Um, no, that was, there's a lot of rumors start going around. Have you ever cheated? No, I haven't. And you took a lie detector test before the show? Yes, I did. And you're confident in the results? Yeah. Okay. Let's bring Mandy up. Amanda. You just have to say you've never cheated on me yet. I seen you with a box of condoms in your hand, trying to leave with one of the girls you got accused of cheating on me with. You think uh, he's been cheating with seven different women? Honestly, I, I deeply, deeply feel it. Like It's like I know it for a fact, but I can't prove it. You look at your wife and tell her, I never cheated on you. I have never cheated on you, man. And I do not believe you. You don't have to, <laughs> but I have never cheated on you. Okay, I went let's out. find out. Let's find out. Um, Amanda, which I'm kind of a little curious here, um, they just handed me the results. And your name's not. You took yeah, a lie detector test, too. I sure too, did. Because you wanted to prove to him. That I have never fooled around on him like okay. he has me. Oh, very good. All right, so let's get to your results first. All right. Amanda, you were asked, well, I mean, did you ever have any questions that she ever cheated on you? Um, I found a lot of things just similar, you know? When I was 15. Okay. It was still happened. 15, 15 but, 16, But when you came 30. here, you're willing to take a lie detector yes. test. During your relationship with Joseph, did you ever have any sexual intercourse with anyone other person besides Joseph, your fiance? You answered no. And the results of her lie detector test is that Amanda told the truth. All right, Joseph, you took a lie detector test before the show, and you were asked, during the course of your relationship with Amanda, while together, did you have sexual intercourse with any other person? And you answered, no. no. Have you received oral sex from any person other than Amanda during your relationship while together? No. And you answered, no. Have you had sexual intercourse with more than three women during your relationship with Amanda while together with Amanda? No. And the results for your lie detector test is that your feeling is right. You failed the lie detector See, test. I knew it! You're a cheater! Okay, you failed! See ya! That's all nah, I got. I ain't dealing with it! I never cheated you're, you're on you. You're full of You're a liar. I do not believe you. I, I, feel, I knew to go with I've my done gun. When we weren't you together. are crazy! Kiss my ass goodbye. <laughs> oh, and you need to get out of the house. We'll add that in there too. You gotta go. There ain't no way. No, I did never cheat on you. Oh, so I never cheated with on flying you. colors, but you failed. I don't with care. I've never cheated on you. Yeah, okay, whatever. I might have been out whatever. doing the wrong thing, but damn it, I was not out sleeping with nobody. I ain't never messed around on you. Kiss never. Kiss my ass goodbye. This is a case of if you tell yourself enough times, you actually start believing it. Um, <laughs> but I want to say, even for being a young mother, a very young mother, you got your head on right. Um, it might be hurtful that you were in this kind of relationship and somebody wasn't loyal to you, making bad decisions, but you put your foot down and you have some moral character in your, you have some ethics and say, I, I don't care if you're bringing money home, you're not going to be a drug dealer, I'm not going to expose my life to you. <laughs> you do have a son together and that'll never change. No, and I that hope, never I change. hope in the future, whatever happens, because this is a TV show, and I don't know what's gonna happen, and I don't know what, what you're gonna do, but all I'm gonna say is, do what's best for your son, stop making stupid decisions like selling drugs, and if you cheat on her, fail in lie detector test, stop all that nonsense. She's a good woman, and sometimes you gotta look and say, Yes, she is. And I gotta say, look at what I got, this should be all that I need, my wife and my son. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Go with it. All right. Oh. Let's go. Come on. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, 
you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I could do that too.